everyone and welcome to Social Five University. Uh, we're here with our freshman orientation series this morning. We're going to be talking about the basics of LinkedIn. And um, so as we go along, feel free to ask any questions you may have. We've got the Q&A and both the um, chat box open. So feel free to ask as we go. Um, always welcome to, to ask questions. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. We'll also have a Q&A at the end if you want to save your questions for then. Oh, I've got one already. Great. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's just a hi, Katie. Wonderful. All right. So let's get going. <clears throat> so quick little overview of what we'll be talking about today. We're going to be talking about understanding who your audience is on LinkedIn, because it is different than the other social channels in that regard. Um, kind of how to get started, um, how to build connections with people that you've met in real life, um, and leveraging those connections outside of LinkedIn. So I really like this quote here, and I'm going to pull my little box up so I can see it all the way, but it says, LinkedIn should be connecting you to the information, insights, and people to be more effective. And I think that's a, a really good um, way to think about LinkedIn, is that it's not like a, a Facebook or a Twitter or a Pinterest or something like that. It's really more about business information and people trying to make connections with each other so that they can help one another be more successful in business. Right, so that's what I want you to think about as you're going through this, is how can you help people be more successful and how can they help you? Because that's why you're connecting um, uh, on LinkedIn. All right, so um, let's talk a little bit about understanding LinkedIn. So Facebook, first off, is more of a B2C uh, type communication tool. It's really consumer-based, it's got a high audience growth in the, in the older adult bracket, Largest social channel. I mean, it's kind of ubiquitous by now. Really nice mix of males and females, right? Very, very healthy place to be um, for business to consumer and, and really kind of becoming almost like a website where, you know, if a business doesn't have a Facebook page, it's like, well, do they even exist, right? Um, Twitter, same thing, B2C. A little bit faster, trends more urban, and a little bit younger, usually under 49. But it's got... Um, a nice mix of gender, education, and economic strata there going on. So again, both kind of, obviously they have their own um, quirks and, and traits, but much more B2C and kind of urban, young person going on. LinkedIn is different. LinkedIn is the business-to-business -business network. Um, it's really got a heavy marketing and networking emphasis. It's really heavily male-dominated which LinkedIn realizes and is trying to change. Um, I don't know if any of you women out there are on LinkedIn, but I get invited to stuff from LinkedIn all the time. They're always trying to send me stuff about female manager sessions that they're doing, or um, you know, real, they're, they're really trying to recruit women and make them a bigger presence on LinkedIn. And it's very business centric. It's also gonna have a higher education level than um, some of the, the general population uh, kind of social mediums like Facebook and Twitter. And um, it's really just that, really good for that business to business communication. Uh, the other cool fact, fun fact about this, LinkedIn's the oldest modern social network. Um, it was founded before Facebook, before Twitter, before MySpace even. So it's been around for a long time. So let's talk about getting started. So the first thing you're gonna do is sign into your LinkedIn profile at linkedin.com and you'll be asked for your email address and password just like any other thing that you sign into. And once you sign in, you'll see your profile here. Now this is obviously not my profile. This is uh, the profile of my boss and friend, Jeremiah Stetler. He's our chief content officer here. Um, so let's take a look at what you can see. Up here on the top uh, right, you can see kind of what's happening with your account. You'll see where you get messages, um, any notifications that you may have, that's the little flag up there, and any connection requests. So we can see when Jeremiah took this screenshot, he hadn't checked his um, LinkedIn very recently because he had 19 messages and 212 connection requests. So he's a popular guy. Um, now, you may see a lot of these messages when you log into LinkedIn because LinkedIn sends you a lot of them. Like I was saying, they send you stuff about, come to our thing for this, you know, your industry or, or whatever, which is great. Um, but so you're gonna see a lot of messages when you, when you log in there. The other thing you're going to see is down here, kind of on the um, in the main body of the page, is you're going to see what people are posting. Content from the connections that you've made are going to, is going to appear here in a live news feed. And if you have LinkedIn service through Social Five, that's where 
will be posting your stuff too so other people can see it. So that's where it will show up on people's pages. So let's start with your profile here. Um, you know, LinkedIn is really used for recruiting, um, kind of for vetting and investigating potential business partners, things like that. I know when um, ever we, our executive team goes in to do a deal with someone like, uh, you know, maybe a partnership with something to provide a service or something, we always go and check out the leadership of the other company on LinkedIn and see who they are and how they stack up and if, you know, if we know anyone in common that we can talk to them about or, or you know, talk to about them and kind of get a reference to see, you know, is this someone we should be doing business with or whatnot. So it's really important to make sure that that profile looks professional and that you've put a lot of thought and effort into it. <clears throat> um, so we've got a question here about does social five post stuff to LinkedIn like we do for Facebook? Um, and the answer is it depends on which type of package you get, Vicki. Um, I believe your package doesn't include that right now uh, because it's a direct marketing package. Um, but some of our other businesses do have that. Um, I think you could upgrade that if you wanted to. I'd have to double check and see what the rules are there. Um, but, but we do offer that with some of our higher um, end packages that include Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Um, so yeah, hope that answers your question. Um, anyway, so back to your profile. This profile is going to be used a lot for online searchability and to make a first impression, right? So people are going to be looking at your profile to get an idea of you. Um, this is really a popular thing to do if, um, you know, people are looking at job candidates or whatever. They'll go look at them on LinkedIn and, and make sure that they look professional and everything. Um, this is not the place to post your photos from you know, whatever you did over the weekend or whatever, right? You want a professional looking photo. You want to fill out that profile and have um, your education, your experience, all that stuff listed there. All right. So um, we like to t tell you to think of your LinkedIn profile as an online resume. And you want to make it as thorough as possible and use any keywords that you can that would help potential partners find you. Um, so, you know, you want to make sure that you're putting in whatever keywords and phrases relate to your business. Um, another thing that we've really noticed here and, um, and that I, I really want to make a plug for is that a lot of folks um, do this on not just LinkedIn, but all their social channels. They create a profile for their business or even for themselves, and then they never go back and fill in all of the um, boxes on the profile. They think, oh, well, I'll just get it created right now and I'll, I'll fill it all out later. And the thing that's important there is um, those profile boxes are what's you, those search engine spiders are using those to find you online. And so if you don't have anything in that box, there's nothing for them to search for. So it's really important to go back through and make sure you've got all those boxes filled out as best you can and give, you know, it's always better to have more information in this case um, and trying to use those keywords and things like that that people can use to find you. So once you um, have decided to, uh, you know, you've got your profile going and everything, it's time to start building your network. So you're going to start here at the search bar and it'll allow you to add any friends or family or anybody else that you might run into and you can add them by searching for their names. So what you're going to do is you're going to, we've done here is we search for Katie Drake and you can see it's not, uh, uh, unfortunately, it's not a super unique name. Um, but you'll see there's me, Managing Editor at Social 5, and you click on that name and you press the Connect button down here at the bottom of my picture. So once you've done that, um, you'll, you'll be connected to that person when they um, accept your connection. So the other cool thing is that LinkedIn can do some searching for you through your email databases so that you don't have to sit there and type in every single person you've ever met. That would take a long time. So what you can do is you can go up to this connections uh, tab and you can click on add connections and it'll give you this option to um, start by going through your email. So you can choose like Gmail or Outlook or Yahoo. They do just about any type of email service that you, that you may be using. And you can put in your email address and it will pull up your address book and search for those email addresses of people who are in your address book. So, because um, obviously if you've emailed them, you probably know them somehow, right? So that's a really great tool to build that network. Um, now the other thing that you can do is you can leverage that network outside of LinkedIn. And this is something I really recommend you doing. Um, once you've built your network, you know, you gotta give your connections some time to grow. But once a week, we recommend that you hop in to your LinkedIn profile and accept any new 
um, connection requests that you may have. Again, people are going to be looking for you just like you're looking for them on LinkedIn. So go ahead and look through those, see if it's someone that you want to connect with, and if so, accept their request. The other thing you can do is search for new connections that you may have made throughout the week. You know, maybe it was just something like you were talking to a fellow parent at school who asked what your business was about, or um, you know, someone at your book club or something like that. Could be someone that you met at a sales meeting. Whatever it might be, you know, think about the people you've met throughout the week and go and search for them on LinkedIn and connect with them. And that's just going to help build your network slowly but steadily over time. Now, another cool thing that um, we really recommend you doing is leveraging these, this network outside of LinkedIn, right? Don't operate it in a vacuum. Use it to support your other efforts. And um, some of those things, you know, we say keep posting, you know, make connections and things like that. But one that we really highly recommend doing is making those LinkedIn contacts part of your email marketing campaign. And the reason we recommend that is these are folks who want to connect with you in a business setting. Right? It's not like Facebook where it's just casual friends or something. And, you know, I, I know my uncle always sends me Facebook requests to like his business. And I'm like, oh, that's so annoying. I don't want to do that. That's not the place for it, right? Um, I mean, it is the place for, for advertising and things like that. But it's not the place where you try and spam people with, um, you know, their, your email marketing or whatever. LinkedIn, though, people are connecting with you because they want to hear about your business. Remember, it's that whole idea back to the quote we talked about at the beginning where you're trying to figure out ways that your business can help theirs and their business can help yours. So it's all about connecting that way. So these are folks who want to connect with you in a business setting. So go ahead and export their email contacts and put them in your database and send them that monthly email that we send on your behalf. Um, let me show you how to do that really quick. You're just going to come up here to connections and do keep in touch. And then there'll be this little kind of settings button over there. And you'll click on that and it'll give you a chance to export your LinkedIn connections. And you can put them in a, a .csv file and just ship them on over to support at social5.com and we'll dump them in your database for you. And our database um, and our system filters out any duplicates and everything. So every time, you know, this is something you might want to do once a month or every quarter or something like that, you know, go ahead and export those connections and send them on over so that we can update your database. All right. Well, that's all I have for today, but do you guys have any questions that you wanted to ask? Um, feel free to go ahead. Oh, we've got some already. Great. Um, oh, so this is asking for the URL for the email. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and type that here in the chat is the, the, um, email address that you can send your um, email contacts to. So it's support at social, social5.com. Sorry, I almost typed it wrong there. <laughs> um, but that's where you can send your emails contacts to. And that's also where you can contact us if you have any trouble or questions or anything like that. Anyone else have any questions? One thing I will say is that even if you have a package that doesn't include LinkedIn, like we're not doing LinkedIn for you, it's still a really great tool and I'd still really recommend that you get on it. Um, so where do we send the email newsletter from? So, um, so part of your package with Social5 is that we send a monthly email blast for you. And um, so it's going to go to whoever you have included, whoever, whatever email contacts you've given us. So that's why we're saying, you know, go ahead and make this connection on LinkedIn and export them and send them over. And then we'll send that on your behalf. So you don't have to worry about sending the email newsletter. And um, if you want to learn more about how the email and everything works, that's um, we're talking about that next Tuesday. That will be the um, email and mobile site uh, tutorial. So if you want to um, tune into that on Tuesday at 10 a.m., that's another really great tool that you guys can use. Um, I'll just close by saying, I you know, again, LinkedIn is a really powerful tool and a really great place to make connections for businesses. Um, it's it's a place where people want to connect with you. It's not, um, you know, something on Facebook and Twitter. We spend a lot of time trying to connect in a way that um, is friendly and social and that doesn't seem like we're selling too hard and things like that. And LinkedIn is much more like, let's just get down to business. We all know why we're here. And it's kind of nice in that way. So um, anyway, that's all I've got for this week. Again, we'll be, we'll be talking about email and mobile basics next Tuesday. So if you 
want, come on and, and tune into that. Um, I'm also going to, I've also recorded this presentation and I'll go ahead and post it on our blog too. Looks like we have one more question. Oh, no, we're good. All right. Well, thank you all so much and I'll see you next week.